Good beautiful morning folks. We are coming to you this morning from Disney's Yacht Club Resort. We are going to have our first ever breakfast experience at Ale and Compass. You guys know what to do. Grab yourself a tasty treat and a beverage of choice. Keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside this vlog at all times and give the globe a spin. We're excited to try something new. Go back to the car. Here he comes. I found the tree house. Hi, I'm Christina from Herrick's to Coasters. I have told you time and time again, you're not going to paint the baby pink. I'm gonna drive the Jeep. I'm gonna drive it down the road. See where we go. One, two, three, go. <laughs> On the next episode of Alone, Family Challenge. Hi, Mr. Ping. Who is this little bundle of joy? They start seating at 7.30, so we are one of the first ones in. They have the buffet, which also comes with a choice of beverage. Then the cocktails, which we don't cover on this channel. And then you can do entrees, but entrees also come with going up to the breakfast buffet. So it's a really good deal. So you have to choose for choosing American breakfast, dark chocolate waffle, Blueberry bacon pancakes, shrimp and white cheddar grits, smoked salmon and toasted bagel sandwich, Mickey shaped waffles, country ham and cheddar cheese omelet, breakfast flatbread, the breakfast protein bowl, salted caramel apple French toast, and a crab cake Benedict. Teddy's been looking over the children's menu, but we all know he wants Mickey waffles and fruit. There's nobody up here, so I'm gonna take a little stroll along the buffet here. We have a yogurt, vanilla yogurt parfait, overnight oats, a strawberry yogurt parfait, grapes, mixed berries, fresh pineapple, granola with nut, cheese biscuits, some sausage gravy, warm cinnamon buns, buttery croissants, chocolate chip muffins, ooh, apple cinnamon bread, that looks really good. Then we have some jam and butter and grape jelly, strawberry jam, butter and grape jelly, and some fruit. To start with, I went near the overnight oats, the apple cinnamon bread, and mixed berries and some grapes. And then for my entree, I ordered the crab benedict crab cake. Bread. Teddy's child's Mickey waffles, and he's gonna be excited because his fruit does come with the strawberries and blackberries and blueberries, plus there's grapes and pineapple in there. That is one of the best fruit trays I've seen on a child's plate in a while. That's gorgeous. So my entree was a ham and cheese omelet. It has arugula and home fried potatoes. And I have a Diet Coke. And they accidentally brought coffee for me. You're allowed to have one drink with the buffet. Yeah. So, let's see what. I went with the crab cake. Benedict. Pepper on Mark had filmed in the wider angle, but with my lighting behind me, I'm getting a better look here up close at this. Breakfast potatoes look seasoned really well. Let's kind of cut into this, see how she breaks. Oh, nice squirt on that egg. Yep, that's beautiful. So I've cut that across and I ate the first half and that crab is phenomenal. The hollandaise on that is phenomenal. Everything just beautiful. What a deal. This is a good deal of a breakfast for $23. And that's she matey. How's the weather? Not good. Is it stormy out? Yeah, driving the yacht club. We were just having a conversation how low these chairs were. They're comfortable. <laughs> yeah. Though. Christina got They're in it. She's never gonna get out of it. 
Rag Island. Hello. Welcome to my office. How may I help you? I need a hairdresser. Now this is a hairdresser. This is the hairdresser? This is a fancy hairdresser. I was going to say. This wow. Quite the salon parlor. Make me look more. Yeah. Say it again. Make you what? More handsome. Make you more handsome? Yes. Yeah, well, it looks like you've been windblown. You ain't been, like, sailing a you ship or anything. A ship. Breakfast was really good. And we're going to continue this vlog guys join us for a stroll around the whole boardwalk we're going to turn to the right here leave yacht club and we're going to walk up and go past swan and dolphin over to the boardwalk back around to the beach club and then back here to the yacht club looking back at the yacht club it's a nice morning. I mean, it's slightly humid, not bad, but it's overcast. So actually a really nice morning for a little after breakfast walk. Looking up at that gazebo that is outside the Yacht Club. I've seen a lot of weddings take place in that gazebo before. That would be a beautiful location for your wedding. So if you were to go to Epcot, like say you were dining here or perhaps staying here, if you had come out of Yacht Club and hanged to the left, you would go over and you can walk right through the International Gateway into Epcot. There's also Skyliner Station over there. If you actually want to walk up here and in between Boardwalk and the Swan and Dolphin, there's a walkway that you can walk all the way to Disney's Hollywood Studios. There's also boat transportation to both Epcot and Hollywood Studios from here. One of the Friendship boats has taken off now, probably headed to Hollywood Studios. The boys are taking separate pathways here. Teddy's taking the longer path. Mark's sticking to the boardwalk area here on the boardwalk planking. <laughs> Teddy's putting in extra steps. We're always saying we should put some kind of pedometer or step counter on him to see how many extra steps he takes compared to Mark and I in the course of a day. <laughs> Mark keeps stopping at all of these planters, these trash cans that have planters on top. <laughs> he keeps pointing to it and trying to tell Teddy that he thinks it's a hat. And Teddy keeps going, no, Daddy, it's just bushes. It's just bushes. Run. Surprise, surprise. My husband's taking pictures of a boat. He actually did not drive these boats. He did. Used to be a watercraft pilot. He drove boats over in the Magic Kingdom area. He did not drive these boats. <laughs> it's hide and seek. <laughs> Every time I see these, honey, I think of pickerel grass or the plants we used to put in our freshwater fish tank in Maine. So we're taking the bridge up across now. They're working on the bridge. So there's the swan over there. This is the dolphin. And then that's the new one out behind and I cannot remember the name of that one. But as you can see up ahead is where we'll cut left to go towards the boardwalk. If you're ever roaming around here when they shoot off Epcot's fireworks, this bridge is a good place to see fireworks. As you can see, the friendship boats go to the Swan and Dolphin as well. 
So that is along the route for those. So to go back to breakfast, that was $23. If you choose your entree, you get the buffet with it, and your choice of like a coffee or a soda or a juice or something, for $23, that was a lot of food. It was good food. The atmosphere was really kind of quieter than a lot of other table service breakfast options on property. We found all of the food. The only thing Mark dinged it on is he said the cinnamon roll was a little bit dry. Here, I'll come get the friendship boat turning around behind me. Mark said the cinnamon roll was a little bit stale, but other than that, he loved everything he had. Uh, I loved everything I had. Teddy loved his meal. Our server was friendly. I mean, it, she was average. She wasn't above and beyond, but she wasn't bad either. We really loved it, and we most certainly will go back to Ale and Compass. We'd actually like to try lunch next time. <laughs> Teddy saw that Mark was going ahead of him, and he's like, ah, wait, Daddy, wait, wait, wait. That walkway that goes off in that direction is the walkway you can walk to Disney's Hollywood Studios, or you could take a friendship boat. We're gonna finish our walk around the boardwalk here. <laughs> it's always fun to just have some downtime to goof off. Actually kind of breezy on this side. I hope it doesn't go in the mic too bad. We're having a ton of fun as you can see. Just kind of one of those days to let loose, goof off, and have some fun as a family. Keep you safe. Keep you safe from daddy. Yeah? So we have hit the boardwalk. Mark keeps saying T's and Teddy saying he's going to throw him in the water. So now you can look across from here at Beach Club where we'll end up going past in a few minutes. And then to the left, the Yacht Club. That is where we had breakfast. That's where we just started our walk from. Over here, the Atlantic Dance Hall says they do things on Thursdays and Sundays, 8 p.m. to 1. I don't know, I've never been in there. Behind Mark is Jelly Rolls, which is a dueling piano bar. What are you I've... saying? Jelly Rolls? <laughs> We've never been in there either. We we don't drink alcohol, so we don't go into a lot of these places, to be honest. I have friends that do, and they love it, so I have friends that highly recommend this. For us, it's just not our thing. Now here is the Boardwalk Resort. Two boats pulling out. boys are waltzing. Oh, nice spin. I apologize for the loud noise there, pressure washing, and my child is screeching for some reason. We've never eaten at Big River. Have any of you, comment below if you have eaten here at Big River and give it a recommendation whether you liked it or not. This is actually the purpose for our walk. At the Yacht Club, Mark actually found readers for sale with Mickey's on them because, you know, he's an older guy and he needs readers. So we're here at Thimbles and Threads, the gift shop here, to see about readers. And he found them, readers with a Mickey on them. How fancy, Daddy, how fancy. Teddy's on the floor playing with this neat toy. What he has is it's a mini fidget figure, it's called. That's kind of cool. There was a lot of construction we just walked past. Continuing our stroll. We have been here to Boardwalk Deli. That's always a good, fun find. And there's the ice cream shop. We're excited for this new bakery that's coming soon. This caught my attention. This is so true for a teddy. It's always ice cream weather here. He loves his ice cream. Continuing our walk, I'll give you another look. Looking across now, that's the Yacht Club. There's the Dolphin. Looking back at Boardwalk Resort.
we were just saying if this is gonna open in 2023 they really kind of ought to get a move on it but certainly does look like it's gonna be chock full of deliciousness by all this tempting food pictures out here oh have, have some cake have some cake there's a beautiful little gazebo area right there. And this is the walkway. Epcot's right over in that direction. They are so silly today. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> no rope to tow daddy up the hill. Daddy needs a tow. You don't want to tow daddy up the hill? You couldn't. You don't have enough reboost. Oh, I guess we need to reboost you. So Teddy and I are goofing around about you like we were, right? We're saying, you know, oh, Daddy's lost. We don't have any more energy. We have no ideas. This or that. Kid going by in the stroller next to us looked at us like dead serious, like they don't have any ideas to go get him. What are, what are they gonna do with him? I mean, dead serious look the kid had on his face. It was, you would have had to have seen the kid to, but it was funny. We're crossing now. So that way is up Epcot. You can see the Skyliner, or as Teddy calls them, Sky Cars in the distance. We're gonna continue our walk around to the beach club. You folks notice Teddy's willing to help tow his dad when it's downhill. <laughs> It's just bushes. <laughs> yes, if you're new to our channel, we have a thing for boats. I film boats a lot, take a lot of pictures of boats. And Teddy has a thing for beaches. So yeah, there go the Crocs. I knew it. There go the Crocs and the beach he goes. He stopped to make sure I saw him. He loves beaches. He loves sand. Wow, Mark's walking on sand. That's impressive. If you guys don't know, Mark has a really bad angle. You can see it. Actually, he walks on the side of it practically. He's eyeing up that chair, something fierce. He loves being barefoot in the sand. That's pretty impressive, Dad. You made it down on the beach. Of course, it helps when it's not 9,000 degrees currently. Yeah, some blazing down. Yeah. It's nice right here right now. Waiter. Excuse Teddy, are waiter. you Daddy's waiter? Waiter. Waiter. So that's what we did. That's the loop we I did. Would like a Diet Coke, please. No. No. What a horrible <laughs> waiter you are. <laughs> this is only a beat. This is only a beat. How did you get sand on your cheek, sir? <laughs> so we would have filmed a little bit more. I was actually going to wrap it up in the solid, solid solarium. I couldn't say the word at first, but it's under refurb at the beach club. So we had bought a drink and everything. We were going to just sit and close it out at the solarium, but it was under refurb. And it's getting really crowded here now. Now that it's kicking into 1030 in the morning. But that was fun. We had a nice breakfast, a nice leisurely walk. Did you enjoy breakfast? I did. Breakfast was awesome. I would very quickly go back there again. And Teddy enjoyed it and we had a fun walk. So that's it for this adventure. Peace and love gang. Keep adventuring. And hey Teddy, what's next? He's wandering. He's excited because we're on to Coronado Springs for our next resort stay. Closed it out too soon as we're walking back to the van. I saw in the landscaping here, there's a Mickey, a not so hidden Mickey. 